Hi, my name is Andy Cranston and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure OpenLDAP on OpenSUSE Leaf 15.5 using a script and supporting files. So if you go to this URL, which is here, and select the code tab HTTPS and click the little button to copy, then we can switch onto our OpenSUSE server now if we take a look, we've only got one subdirectory here called NFS. I'm now going to run the command git clone, paste in that HTTPS URL. And now we've got the directory LDAP OpenSUSE Leaf 15.5. If we change into that directory and run a script called install and run it using sudo. Get a little confirmation prompt, going to type in yes to continue. So it's installing the LDAP packages that it needs, so it can become an LDAP server. Adding a firewall rule, starting the service, adding some LDAP entries. It's now advising me to run this LDAP search command on another host. So let me just highlight it there. Go onto another host, paste the command in, and press enter. And we can see here that it's returned lots of information that's been put into that LDAP server. So there we go, the LDAP server is now set up and running. Okay, so let's do a real world test of this. I'm going to log into a PX3 Raritan Intelligent PDU. Now I'm going to try and log in as a user Andy C with a password. And it's going to tell me that your authentication is held. And that's because this Raritan PDO isn't currently configured to use the LDAP server that holds the authentication details for that user. So what we'll do is we'll log in as the locally defined user admin. We'll go to device settings, security, LDAP. I'm going to add in a new LDAP server. the IP address. We're not going to run at any security, this is just a demonstration. Then we're going to put in the details for the bind distinguished name, which I can copy from here. We need to put in the password, again I can copy it from here. It's required twice. Base distinguished name for search. That is the organizational unit for users, which is here. So now we can just do a quick test by using this test connection button. I put in my user Andy C and the password. And we test the connection. Everything tests OK, so that's encouraging. Click on Add Server. Click on save and now if I log out, let's try logging in as Andy C again. And I'm logged in as Andy C as we can see up here. So if I just go onto maintenance firmware update, I can get onto the firmware update screen. Let's log out, let's log in as another user that's defined on the LDAP server, Neil A. Again, we've successfully logged in and we can see that we're logged in as Neil A. Let's go maintenance, update firmware again. And this time it's telling us that we don't have the sufficient priv privileges. So that proves that these those two users have got different roles defined in this Raritan PDU. But the upshot is, is it's proving that the LDAP server is working as we expect. So that's an LDAP server installed, configured and put to use in under five minutes. Thank you for watching.